Hello, my wonderful viewers. Welcome to my platform. This is Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of coming across this channel and you like what you see after watching, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notification. In that way, you'll be able to get notified each time I upload a new video, even those without notification. Here we react to all forms of videos, international and local. Every Saturday by 2 p.m. we have our interaction section. You are free to call in to air your opinion about the happenings in our society. Invite your friends, share my videos with your families and colleagues. Do not keep this information to yourself. Myself, I will be sitting down here to watch this video together with you from the beginning to the end. Then we'll go to the comment section and leave our comment, our opinion about the video we we'll watch constructively as we watch this video, my people. We leave Nigeria. People can decide whether we are going to be Biafra or not Biafra. But then, I want you to follow me to the journey of wisdom. Today, I am taking you to a very far, far away, so that after today, you will not disturb me again. We focus on releasing Mazin Namdekano and how to leave Nigeria. So, my people, welcome to this journey of millions and thousand miles. We are going to travel ocean. We are going to travel sea. We are going to travel seven seas and ten seas and all that. To be able to make you understand what you don't know. Okay? Before I go further into what I want to do, I want to bring one or two things to the screen. Okay? Let us go there. Now, I want to, to, for some of you, the reason why I can never attack those who are mentioning it do, who are mentioning it do, apart from the spiritual aspect of it, apart from the spiritual aspect of it, because some of you, you will come to say, oh, we, uh, Biafra is a spirit. Biafra is a spirit. Now, when somebody come to tell you that he, she received a message, about it do, and Mazin and Dekano tell you that in in it do that is the key for to get Biafra. That the the only time we are going to get Biafra is when you get the key, and that the key to Biafra is in it do, which I'm going to play to you today. Now, all of you agreed to this, okay? But your problem is that Nebi of Ebu is talking about it now, okay? That is your problem. Every 90% of all of you that is against Nelly Ofebu about it do, you are only against her because she bring the issue of it do now in the absence of Mazin Namdekano, which I have already said, okay? Mm -hmm. I have already said that from the beginning. So you actually did not have problem with it do because you know what is it do, okay? Some of you have mis mis misrepresented it do, some of you have misinterpreted it do, so you actually did not have any problem again about it too. But because Nelly Ofebu is bringing the do now. Now, this is where you people are missing it. I don't have problem with Nelly Ofebu for bringing it too. Because she is still on the track. And she is still under Mazin Amdekan. And she is still doing everything to release Mazin Amdekan. And of course for Biafrans in this gas. Now, where you people are not getting things right is that if you believe that Biafra is a spirit, he had a maybe he had more. When somebody begins to speak the language of Nde more, you, you should be able to respect that. When somebody tells you that what I am doing or what she is saying is something that was given to her, whether it is true or not, but for the fact. That this Biafra struggle that you believe in Nihan and maybe him more, you have to respect that. Respect that. And that is exactly what I'm doing because I am not ordinary. I am, I am not you. What I see, you don't see it. 
So, if you come to join Biafra struggle with your canal mind, when we are discussing canal, canal thing, you can put your mouth. But when we are discussing something of the spirit, you just stay aside and allow those who have the wisdom, who have the gift of hearing from the spiritual world, you know, to be the one that will be making comment. Because if you come with your canal knowledge, you just be making mistake. For example, that particular um, uh, map, map, that our brother map, I have listened to him. He was even saying that Nelly Ofebu is the one who is uh, blackmailing a Jofo. Nelly Ofebu is the one who uh, brought uh, um, uh, Bruce Femme and all that. But and I look at these things, I just, I just laugh. Once you once you don't know something, you can never know it. And what you don't know is bigger than you. Now, Mapo have made that particular broadcast. And a lot of people have listened to him. But I will tell you today that Nelly Ofebu have absolutely nothing to do with Bruce Fenn. In fact, Nelly Ofebu don't have anything to do with Bruce Fenn. But you see, everybody is saying Bruce Fenn is Nelly Ofebu. Nero Ofebu have never spoken with Bruce Fenn. Nero Ofebu have absolutely nothing to do with Bruce Fenn. In fact, it is even the opposite. But when they want to tag this thing, all of them have called that. They say Nero Ofebu is the one blackmailing that is the job for. He is the one who used Bruce Fenn and all that. Bruce Fenn never spoke with Nero Ofebu. Nero Ofebu don't know who Bruce Fenn is. Nero Ofebu is never part of anything Bruce Fenn. But you see, that particular man, that our brother map, have big, he just ran to social media. He started shouting Nelly Ofebu. Why Nelly Ofebu have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with Bruce Fenn. That is wrong. You see, sometime when some of you will come, we will just put our hand and listen and watch how ignorant some of you are. And that is why I say, what you don't know is bigger than you. Now, let us go straight to what I'm explaining. If you are not spiritual, do not delve into spiritual things when it's being discussed. I want you to follow us to this. Harry, Harry Jam, I will block you. You are a fool. You are a very big fool. You just listen, you just listen to what I'm explaining, and all you do is to distance yourself. You are an idiot. You don't deserve to be here. Now I want you to listen to what I'm about to do. For those of you who are not objective, for those of you who are not objective, I want you let us visit what is called Netherland versus Holland. Netherland versus Holland. I want us to read a brief history of this Netherland versus Holland. What is the difference between Holland and the Netherland? Some of you don't know today that when you talk about Netherland, you are talking about Holland. The Netherland consists of 12 province, provinces, but many people use Holland when talking about the Netherland. You see? Two province, the two provinces of Nord and Zud, Holland, together are Holland. The 12 provinces together are the Netherlands. Holland is often used when all of the Netherlands is meant. Now, I just want you to understand, I am not, like I said, I have not come to start defending Idu and all that because everybody knows what is Idu. The official name of the country is the Kingdom of Netherlands. King Williams Alexander is the king of the nation. Holland actually only means the two provinces of the North Holland and Zuid Holland. However, the name Holland is often used when all of the Netherlands is meant. A brief history. A brief history of the Netherlands and the Holland between 1588 and 1795. The area currently representing the Netherlands 
was the Republic of Seven United Netherlands. Are you hearing that? Seven United Netherlands. The Republic was conquered by French troops in, in 1795 and became the Batavian Republic. Are you listening? It became the Batavian Republic. Napoleon appointed his brother Louis as king in 1806, turning the country into a kingdom. The Netherlands remained a kingdom after Napoleon's defeat. At that time, the area called Holland made the biggest contribution to the nation's to the entire nation's economy and wealth. As such, it became the commonly used name to indicate the entire country. Now, when you look at this now, you find out that Holland preserved their history. It is a historic, a historic name to the people of Netherlands and Holland. Do you know why I'm bringing this? I have not brought this to, to start uh, defending you do or no. <laughs> but I have just come to ask those people one question. What is the historic name? What is, what is the historic impact and meaning of the nation you are fighting for? I want to know is a question I'm asking everybody today. What is the historic impact, the historic meaning, the hi historic name of this country we are fighting for today. Apart from that, five million children were killed. I want you to tell me the historic impact of this, our nation. And of course, like I said, I stand my ground for Biafra. <laughs> but you know, we want to learn. Now, this is Holland. Every country in the Western world that are progressive have their name originated somehow from their history. Okay? From their history. So we do not know, do we have history at all? Is it do? For example, a history that has to do with us? Now, Nelly Ofebu, according to her, you know, received a message which, which before that, Mazenam they cannot have preached and preached and preached about the Godomi Godo and they do. And they say that for us to get Biafra, the key to Biafra is in do. My, my question, my problem now is that why are people who want to get Biafra that the key is in do are against people mentioning it too? <laughs> I don't get it. What, what does, does it remove anything from your table? Does it remove anything from your name? I, I am beginning to think that the spirit that are against the spirit of Nigeria have possessed those who are fighting against people mentioning you do. I am telling you, because me, I'm a spiritual man. I cannot go and start fighting Nelly for saying it do. It is just an ideology, ideological thing. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything to me. If Nelly said that, the spirit is say, if she begin to mention you do, things will begin to move. For this struggle, why should I go and start fighting her for mentioning something that will make the spirit of Biafra to move? <laughs> I don't understand it. So I am beginning to see the people who are fighting somebody who only mentioned name of you do because Mazinam Dekano is not here. Only just because of that. You begin to bring confusion, bring distraction. I begin to see you as the enemy of Biafra because. With the information, and some of them were even analyzing it yesterday. From the information I have received, why should I, why should somebody convince me that mentioning it do will make things to begin to work for Biafra? Why should I go and start fighting that person? Am I the spirit? Am I a spirit? So why should I not? If I believe that I'm a spirit, that's why I say, can now people are not meant for this struggle? If I believe that I'm a spiritual man, why should I go and fight somebody who said that the spirit told her something? And I see that the thing is working. <laughs> According to, because since then, a lot have been, there have been some kind of improvement in this struggle. Apart from the fact 
that onion do is now inside captured but with this whole saga of a do this they do that things are working somehow a lot has happened so why should i go and if it requires nelly to say that to say that uh, uh, biafra is a, is a scam to start blackmailing biafra or something like that that is what the the, the spirit asks her to do have you seen me blackmail biafra is it because of that i should come and start fighting her because she's uh, doing according to what the spirit told her have that stopped me from shouting biafra have that stopped me from agitating for biafra so why can't you now allow those who believe in whatever they believe what i call ideological differences to continue why we are aiming at one particular thing which is the biggest thing we have now is to make sure to we release Mazin Namdekan and Nelly is working for that. The another thing is that we make sure we leave Nigeria and Nelly is working for that. So why should I now begin to waste my time to start fighting somebody that have actually done more than all of you combined, combined together that you don't know about? And when they when when they, they see me doing all those things, they say, "Oh, yeah, he cannot uh, attack Nelly. He cannot. I cannot attack Nelly because what I know, you don't know it." What I know, you don't know it. So you sit and you sit very, very far. You don't know what is going on. Nelly did not steal money. Nelly did not commit crime. Nelly did not commit fraud. Why should you now tell me to attack Nelly the way I attack the criminals in the in IPOB? That doesn't make sense to me. Now, I want to bring something else. I want to bring something else. Small, small. You know, I think, uh, let me show you something before I go further. Because, uh, I am coming from a very, very, uh, a very different uh, perspective today. We, you people need to be tutored, honestly, because this is this is enough. I have had enough of it, and it has become imperative to address you people. Now, I want you to look at this. You know, sometimes we borrow from other people's uh, wisdom. Okay, so I'm going to borrow from this man called Malcolm S. You see, Malcolm said, you have to be very careful introducing the truth to the black man. You have to be very, you see, when I'm talking, somebody is saying here, instead of the person to listen to me, after listening to me, the person can now judge by him or herself, is here saying, saying Nelly is nobody but a Confucianist. I'm going to block you. You better come here to listen or you get the hell out of my page. Malcolm has said, you have to be very careful introducing truth to the black man who has never previously had the truth about himself before. The black brother is so brainwashed that he may reject the truth when he first hear it you have to drop a little bit on him at a time and wait to let that sink before advancing to the next step. If you understand this particular thing, you are going to always prevail. And that is exactly what Mazin Namdekano did. Mazin Namdekano understand the principle understand what this Malcolm X said. So he was dropping the truth little by little. It was not uh, 2015 that everybody started following him. No. <laughs> Me, I joined in 2019. So the truth started to drop little by little. Because if you bring the truth to a black man, the, the same time, they will just, like they, some of them are commenting here now, oh, Nelly is this, Nelly. They have not even listened to me. <laughs> okay? But anybody I see commenting out of point, we're going to block you. Because you need to learn. I did not come here to waste my time and, you know, research after researching. I did not sleep last night. I did not sleep. Because I was researching and trying to put this together. And the result is what you are going to see here now. And after today, I know not all of you, but many of you who have been attacking these Hindu people will change. Because my, my, my sleepless night can never be in vain. I spent time to put things together. 
so that it will make sense when you when you listen to me. Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.